Hey, thanks for joining me today. You're listening to The Sit Down with Roman Gray. So, before I start this episode, I want to address a couple things. Um, If this sounds good, if this sounds better, if you've listened to any of my previous episodes, then awesome. I just bought some new stuff that is going to help the quality of this of this podcast from what i can hear it sounds amazing and phenomenal so i'm really happy with it and two i want to mention a kind of new direction i'm going to start taking with my future episodes and that new direction uh is eh, kind of not really but anyway so for the past few years i have written a lot a lot of stuff whether it's poetry philosophy uh, or just other things and I have a huge amount of stuff there now that I've written over the years that I've never really shared with anybody and I thought I have the perfect chance right now to share that you know I have a podcast now which is pretty great and all these writings I want to share with you guys you know kind of open up more and be vulnerable and hopefully connect with you guys in a different way or a better way So from here on now, in a lot of the episodes, I'm going to end them with a lot of my own personal writings, you know, a lot of pieces that I have written in the past. So from here on now, a lot of the episodes, not all of them, but a lot of them are going to start containing a lot of my own pieces that I have written in the past. Obviously, it's going to have some sort of correlation to whatever the episode is about, but I think it's exciting. You know, I I think that it can really help a lot of people, and I think it's really going to enhance the the episodes that are to come, and also just kind of stand out. So I'm excited. And so with that said, without further ado, here's today's episode. Feeling left behind is something I know all too well. And I know there's a lot of other people who do as well. You know, we all keep playing this game of keeping up with the Joneses, just trying to catch up to some false ideal. We hold this deep, deep deep-rooted fear of not being enough, you know, never being able to catch up. We get so busy comparing ourselves to other people. We forget that we all have our own individual paths, but keep using someone else as a measurement of success rather than our own selves. And I know, believe me, I know it's hard not to compare yourself when all you ever see is the highlight reel of other people's lives. I'm definitely guilty of that. We feel this need to be so amazing and captivating. For what? Just to please those around us? We forget that we don't see the whole story. It's like seeing an iceberg. You know, we only ever see the top portion of each other in our lives. However, the majority of our lives and who we are are behind and underneath it all. We're so desperate to get ahead and it feeds this competitiveness in me and I think potentially other people as well. This feeling of being behind in life for me, I think, stems from fear. Fear of abandonment, being left behind both figuratively and literally feeling stuck in the mud while others seem to continue to zoom right past me. You know, I want to be happy and positive and at my highest potential at all times, but as time has shown me, that's not how life goes. This this feeling of being behind, but behind what? This idea, this feeling lives in different forms to different degrees in all of us. You know, this is a sign that it's man-made. The fact that we continue to try to measure and calculate and therefore predict the entirety of our lives is wrong. It's it's absurd. It just it doesn't make any sense. No one can tell you or me where we'll be in 15, 20, 30 years from now. It's unfathomable. Life is too unpredictable to be ruled out like some science or math class. It's like we're trying to move in inches, but keep measuring in miles and multiples of yards. So, of course, we're always going to feel behind. 
You know, you're not crazy for thinking like this. A lot of us have felt and more than likely continue to feel this. You know, we're, we're just humans trying to make sense of everything. So with all this said, my last words are, we aren't behind. We've just been using the wrong measurements for ourselves. You know, these benchmarks based upon arbitrary numbers and the success of others. I think we just all need to be reminded of that every now and again. We're not behind. We've just been using the wrong measurements the whole time.